Hey, how you doing? Austin here. I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment person only. We're going to talk about Dogecoin, but we're really going to talk about something that I haven't really talked about in previous videos. And that is, in fact, whale uh, activity, specifically around Dogecoin. Why do you care? Why should you watch the rest of this video? Here's why you care. We're going to talk about the single largest whale as it relates to Dogecoin holdings in this video, I'm gonna show you a piece of content related to that and talk about their activity around Doge. Why is this relevant? It's relevant because I firmly believe that the sheer amount of Dogecoin that this one wallet holds and the fact that they are not buying, or excuse me, they're not selling off at highs or lows right now relates specifically speaks to downstream opportunities for Dogecoin. That's why I think it's relevant. And I think that it's relevant because I think in this point in time with Doge really not doing a whole heck of a lot right now. And I think that that is, so I think it's relevant to discuss what people who have hundreds of millions of dollars invested in Dogecoin are doing. I think it's relevant. And number two, you got to remember that the overall crypto market right now is just not doing a whole heck of a lot. In fact, it's down and I think it could go lower. And I'm not trying to be the voice of doom and gloom here, guys. I'm trying to be the voice of reason in the room. And I'm trying to be the YouTuber who taught, who covers crypto, who comes to you and tells you the good and the bad so that you know the state of the union. And it's not just all, you know, hype and blue skies and white puffy clouds, okay? So I think that you need to know and you need to hear some of these things and need to know the latest and greatest. So that's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover the overall state of the union and we're going to talk about this particular whale's activity related to Doge and why it's relevant and why it's relevant to you and I who obviously don't have hundreds of millions of dollars of Dogecoin. Here we go. All right. So as you can see, Doge is 23 cents right now, trading down 3.88%. Overall volume is down 32%. Uh, and we're still ranked at number six. Okay. Now the number of holders uh, is uh, basically, uh, what is it? 4,100,000 and change. Okay. Uh, and you can see that the overall addresses are adding just a little bit. And for whatever reason, June 5, we dropped and lost some. So there was some sell-off. Okay. So we lost some addresses. So some people got out. I consider that to be paper hands. I consider that to be people that frankly, just kind of, we needed them probably to go away. Right. Okay. So specifically though, I want to show you what is going on with the uh, overall market conditions, you can see we're kind of trend, trending in, in a in a really what I consider to be kind of a consolidation uh, period. And you can see that's very, very evident here from this trading view chart, where you can see that we've got this, we had this spike up, uh, we came back down, and now we're trading in this in this trading view, in, in this cons consolidation, there's my mistake, in this consolidation kind of, you know, uh, period sideways channeling pattern, right? Now, just a couple things to point out. This is obviously our support level. Our resistance level, we have touched one, two, three, four, five, six times and broken through twice. Okay, we've been, we've touched and been rejected. Uh, and we've kind of, and we've, and we're definitely kind of, you know, we're doing this, right? I mean, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, 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 up. It's a little roller coaster. We will see how it continues to flow from here, guys. Now, here's the thing, okay? I want to point out uh, something that's of interest to you, okay? So we've got, this overall state of the union scenario playing out where the overall crypto market is not doing that great right now. In fact, Bitcoin just dropped into the 30,000 range and earlier it was 31,000 and change. Ethereum continues to drop. Guys, I did not think oh, that Ethereum would hit 1700. I really didn't. I didn't see that happening anytime in, the, in, in, in the, now. I really didn't. And I think possibly... We will continue to go down a little bit. And here's why. I, I show this to you because it's relevant, guys. You need to know this. Datamish.com shows shorting and long positions related to Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. It's 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 relevant because where Bitcoin and Ethereum go, if they're up, the, the market's up. If they're down, the market's down. We had a massive spike yesterday. This red line right here, massive spike in the number of short selling positions and the number of short positions in Bitcoin. We were sitting at around, you know, two, 3,000 short selling positions. You can see that when we spiked up in the red, you see this white line right here. That represents uh, Bitcoin's price and Bitcoin's price dropped when we had this massive spike. Now, here's what happened though. 
Bitcoin is holding its own. I firmly believe that it could have gone down even more, but it didn't, okay? And so right now, there's a possibility that we could drop down into the 20,000s. I think that's entirely possible, and I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, FUD guy, fear, uncertainty, and doubt guy here, okay? I'm trying to be the voice of reason so that you understand the state of the union and understand kind of everything that's going on with your beloved Doge and the overall crypto market. Because here's the deal, guys, right? This is an opportunity to go shopping. I think it firmly is, okay? Buy low, sell high, right? Don't buy high and then sell low. <laughs> Don't do it. All right, so that's the state of the union of the market, okay? You need to know this and you need to understand this. I'm gonna, you don't believe what I'm saying to you, okay? Then fine, go to CoinMarketCap and look at these right here. It's the last seven days. Look at these charts down, these curl, these last like curl down, 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 down. I mean, you can see them, they're everywhere. Um, you know, anything that's not, you know, Binance, USD, et cetera, right? Uniswap down, Bitcoin down. I mean, it's just across the board. Look at every single chart is doing the exact same thing. Ironically, I actually kind of like that, 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 that the overall crypto market follows Bitcoin and Ethereum. What, what, why would, why would you like that, Austin? Because it's somewhat predictable. You can see that when Bitcoin and Ethereum are down, you can see from the chart that everybody else is. All right, cool. Then I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna look at it and go, you know what? I'm gonna go do some shopping and I'm gonna go maybe buy some. I'm gonna pick a level. If Bitcoin hits 28,000, I'm gonna buy some. If Ethereum hits 1,600, I'm gonna buy some. If Cardano hits a dollar, you know, 15, I'm gonna buy some, whatever, right? That's my point, okay? That's really, really important. Okay, let's talk about whale trading activity and why this is relevant. Okay, Dogecoin's largest hold, largest holder still holding cryptocurrency despite recent dip. Okay, right here. A mysterious crypto whale known for holding 28% of the existing Dogecoin supply saw the value of its holdings drop to under $8 billion dollars during the latest dip, the wallet address holds 36.7 billion Doge, which was worth over 25 billion billion in May when the meme-based cryptocurrency, I said 100 millions earlier. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. That was a brain fart. Sorry. Billions when the meme-based cryptocurrency reached a price of 73 cents. According to BitInfo charts, the well did not sell any of their coins at that level. What does that mean? This whale... This wallet did not sell when cryptocurrency price of Dogecoin reached the all-time high of 73 cents. They didn't sell. They didn't sell. What does that tell you? It tells you that they believe it's going to go higher. This, this, this wallet, hold, well, at that point, holds it holds 36.7 billion Doge. Take a minute. Think about that. Give that some thought. It should give you peace of mind when you're sitting there going, what the hell's going to go with Doge? Am I going to lose my shirt? Am I, oh my God, the hair's on fire and the sky is falling and the world is on, the world sucks. No, take a breath, relax, right? Okay. However, while they, didn't, they did not take profits at the top, they didn't sell, they also did not sell any Doge when the price began to fall drastically. Diamond hands. They didn't freak out. They didn't do that. All right. Hey, but Austin, I bet you that's Robinhood's wallet. I bet you it's an institutional holder's wallet. Well, the curious behavior of this Dogecoin well sparked the interest of many in the community who have speculated about the true identity of Dogecoin's largest holder. An investigation by the Doge community on Reddit has suggested that the address in question is Robinhood's crypto cold wallet. However, Coindesk's Head of research reportedly told Markets Insiders that the wallet's largely dormant activity could mean that the whale is not an exchange, but simply an individual. It would be helpful for the Dogecoin community, not even just Doge, but all for crypto, if there was a good way to either independently or verify that books of a custodial exchange are in order or to have an audit report from a professional firm that does audit and certify that everything is fine. It's a Dogecoin core developer, Patrick Loader. Price action, you know, we lost, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now... D could it be Robinhood's wallet? Yeah, there's a possibility, but there has been investigation into it, etc. Could it be an individual? We don't know. Let's just say what it is. We don't know, right? Okay, fine. 
But what I want you to walk away from this is I want you to understand that this particular wallet did not sell at the peak and did not sell right now when we're in the valley. Take that with a, take that take that and kind of use it to kind of take a breath and kind of relax a little bit. And frankly, if you believe in Doge, yes or no, you're watching this video because I'm assuming you do in some context. If you believe in Doge, maybe it's a good time to buy. I'm not telling you to spend the college kids fund, put the rent money, you know, mortgage money. I'm not telling you that. I'm not giving you investment advice at all. I have to give you a disclaimer, right? I'm not. My point is, if you believe in it long term, then maybe it's a good time to buy some. I look at it that way. I tend to be a glass half full kind of guy. Okay, I tend to look at the positive thing. But I wanted to bring you this because I thought this was worth talking about. I thought that this this whale's activity was worth talking about, so that you could, so that maybe it gives you some peace, maybe it gives you a little bit. But we're going to talk about this, continuing, moving on. As always, we'll continue to see. Let's look at the latest chart. We're con- we're still in this trading consolidation pattern. We'll see how that continues to hold. As always, guys, I'm here for you. I'm going to be bringing you the good news, the bad news, all the news related to Doge and your favorite cryptos. I'll see you down the road. Take it easy.